Well, hello, neighbor. Back so soon? Have you come to get an update on our sprouts? Well, I guess it is that time. Uh, welcome to episode number three of P4. I'm Amber, and of course, behind the camera is Jason. Come on in. Let's. Amber and I are so glad you were able to stop by and see our exciting seedling progress. Wow, what a difference a week makes, huh? Welcome to Pepperpalooza 2014. Amber and I were pleasantly surprised that so many seeds actually germinated. We'll show you the types of seeds that we sowed a little later down the road, though. We have, as of right now, seven sweet pepper sprouts and 16 bell pepper sprouts. That's crazy. Today, we're planning to transplant each one into their own, uh, <clears throat> their own little seedling cup. With any luck, we will have enough peppers for ourselves and our family. As you can see, our spinach is looking a little bit leggy today. We made some adjustments to how close the seedling is to the light, and hopefully by next week's update, we will have a nice healthy plant to show off. Unfortunately, we have no updates on our purple beans yet. We're going to give them another week. If nothing happens by next week's update, we will admit defeat. Hi, and welcome back. In this segment, we want to talk about apartment homesteading. What does homesteading stand for? Well, it's living a life of self-sufficiency. And how do you do that in an apartment? Well, there's many things that you can do. Like, for example, this year we are planting a patio garden. Not knowing if it was going to be successful or not, we wanted to do it in the cheapest way possible. And a part of homesteading is actually reusing or repurposing things. The first thing I wanted to talk about is seeds. Not knowing if our garden was going to take off or if we could actually do it on the patio, we really didn't want to dump a lot of money into our patio garden. So what we did is last year, we went to a store and they sold all these seed packets at the end of the year. See all these that we have in here? We got these for about a penny a piece. We got peas, as you can see, carrots, pretty much everything that you can think of that will grow in our area. And we have enough for years and years to come. Not that you should save your seeds that long, but we really can't be upset if we plant a bunch of these and they don't come up. Another thing that I would like to talk about is the pots that we're going to use to plant our plants in. Now you can see this is just a plain old two and a half gallon pot. We actually got this at our local grocer and they actually stored icing in it, but they gave it to us for free. Free pot? Yes, I'll take that any day. Uh, we are going to probably do something on the outside of this to make it look a lot better and not like a free pot from the grocery store. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Next episode, we'll probably show you what we do to pretty these up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.